All right. So when attacking, of course, one of the most common ways to attack is hitting fast. It's speeding up the game. And of course, you need to know how to do that. But many times, especially as the players get better, if you play fast, the players are kind of ready to counter attack you. Yeah, like if they see me like this, they are already kind of moving forward to wait for my rebound. And basically, if I don't put enough cheese on that shot, enough power on that shot, they probably will counterattack me. So what are other ways to counterattack? Well, we always tell our players, think of combos. What is a combo? The easiest example is when you go to Burger King or McDonald's, they have combos. Yeah, the combo is French fries, burger, a little yogurt, and soda. Yeah, then you have other combos, the wrap, the french fries, the ice cream, and the apple pie, yeah? So, combos is basically connecting many shots in a row in order to be aggressive. And like I said, power, yes, you need to understand how to play fast, but also you need to know how to change the pace, yes? Or, I give you a, a, an example of a really nice combo. You play in the middle, volley, yeah, then you shift and cover. And if the player plays away from you, it's a very good time to do the combo to the fence, yeah? So many times the fence is gonna be a very nice shot and very aggressive because the player doesn't know what's gonna happen. Number two and most important, the player has to run forward to get to that ball. So even if they get it back, you have broken the defensive optimal position from the opponents. By doing that, you have opened up new gaps. So basically, if you wanna be aggressive, not only focus on hitting hard, but also focus on using the short game, the shorter court, to move the players out of the optimal position. To practice attacking with combos, which basically is not only with power, but also by connecting different shots, you need to do these combos. So I will give you an example of an exercise where if the ball is in the inner area, basically in the middle area, of course you can always play to the fence, but that doesn't make as much sense as when the ball is out here then you have a better angle to play to the fence. So what we are gonna work on is to play with this ball from the middle to the middle, then shift and cover your position. The player many times is not gonna control the ball back to the middle, so it's gonna open the core a little bit, and you use that second ball to play to the fence. Remember to play shorter enough, otherwise the player might anticipate your ball, yeah? And then your partner might not have time to cover the line. So, middle, Fence. That will be one combo. Another combo that you will see will be middle, and if the player try to angle you, you're gonna play a drop shot. Bam, 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 bam. Why don't you do that in the games? Combo, combo, combo. There you go. Combo, yes, combo. There. All right, now if I angle you, I want a drop shot there. Simple. Yes. 